This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's the 83rd episode of the podcast. Thank you for watching and listening. And yes, this could be perhaps the last podcast for the year. Hindi man lang tayo umabot ng 85 episodes. Pero as this goes on, itong episode na to, you might have already seen Saika no the movie finale. Of which it was screened last month, and I'm lucky, although with the with the risks and all, I'm lucky to to be able to watch it on the silver screen. Pero we have our guest here, and we'll talk about this fantastic series. I have with me someone who has watched it in its fan screening in Singapore. 2019, tama? Exactly a year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, from Anime Corner, my senior sa Anime Corner, Marlo Barzoliano. Good, good day, good day, yan. Good day, hello. Uh-uh. Um, when I say my senior sa Anime Corner, because it's, uh, I wrote, uh, I write the feature sa Anime Corner, and the last feature that I wrote for Anime Corner, as of this recording, is yung tungkol na sa Vishojo. So, so far this year, nakapagsulat ako ng tatlong features. Hopefully, by next year, magkaroon ako ng energy and time and resources to do a lot of stuff. So, hi again, Marlo. Hello, hello. Uh-huh. Hello, guys. Hindi ko na masyado maalala yung plot and scenario and all that ng uh, Saika. No? Pero what I can remember is that they're trying to build a visual novel. And apparently, they're doing it the second time around. So, the story involves here. Again, this episode... Uh, we'll have spoilers ahead, so you're free to go at your discretion. You have been advised. You have been warned. Agreed. Okay. So, <laughs> sige, yeah. simulan natin yung um, Saika no finale. How, how was it when you watched it in Singapore, by the way? It's quite, uh, actually, it's quite different. Like, what about it? Uh, well, I've been watching weeb film, anime films, weeb films for the past 2019. You where they're with you and Hello World and the Aobuta movie. So, in the Philippine sense, it's quite different. So, I've been to experience also. But in Singapore, in the fan screening, it's quite different. It's number one. It's an exclusive fan screening, first fan screening film. In I guess in Southeast Asia, so mm-hmm. it, it it's be it's before general fans general fan screening in Singapore, so it's quite different. It's it's in within the AFA feature, mm-hmm. so sobrang nakachamba ko sabi ko, oi, it's a it's it's a very good surprise that there's there's a screening and announced like a few days before the event. So, automatic ako. Ako namang excited. Papunta rin naman dun. Mm-hmm. Bumalida ako. And the fan screening consists of a, one very exclusive clear folder of the Saika, no? I guess it's... So, iba, iba siya sa general fan screening, which is sayang nga, wala, wala rin merch na ano, but it's a clear folder. folder so, so, it's only you can have it on the in the event itself and people are excited like a lot of people are excited about it they're quietly excited since it's singapore it's quite medyo iba lang yung viewing etiquette don in a way that it's very upright and strict you know? but mm-hmm. well, even singapore that, is a fine country singapore is a fine country yeah I, I, even in socials parang ramdam mo na Iba siya sa Pilipinas na medyo... It's very say-so, if I say, I say so myself. But even that kind of cultural differences, in a later part, at and then with sa mga good moments in the film, mm-hmm. everyone is slowly squealing. In short, mga kinikilig din yung mga katap. I, I, I experienced the same thing nung pinanood ko sa sinehan. And luckily, uh, MGCQ yung result, so I went right away to Santa Lucia and yeah. watched the whole film on its first screening. 
at around the uh, afternoon siguro and ilan lang kami doon ako at isang at, at dalawang tao na apparently they're having a movie date ang ganda na movie oh. date nila no ako yung third party <laughs> Pero, right. mm. sayang nga, hindi mo yung experience yun. And I mean, people all in a one-pack hall. It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a parang conference hall. Yes. People are like genuinely screaming when then on the confession part. It's like, wow! It's like, every, unang for the first few minutes, like, pag parang yung feeling na pag nakingay ka, patay ka. Up to the point na the same kind of people, like, you have to squeal it because kilikilig din sila. Mm-hmm. They, it, break, it breaks barriers na talagang that it it makes people squeal especially especially most of most of the people there are followed the entire scene they even read, read the light novel alam na nila mangyayari mm-hmm. and they are they are really satisfied about it mm-hmm. so right. it's a, yes yes you can go on so, so in short it's quite magical talagang you, you see it is You see it first, like, well, the, except for the Japanese screen, but you see it first, you saw it first, first mm-hmm. before the rest. So, talagang, you really, that feeling of exclusivity, excitement is all there. Swerte mm-hmm. so, so, mo nga eh. Kasi, alright, so, well, I wish I could go to Apa at that time, pero pinaritize ko muna is our motherland. So, I've been going to like places like Cebu, Cebu Baguio here and there. Eh, satisfied din naman ako but I want to go back to Apa again nabitin ako to be quite honest 2018 I was there you were there 20, uh, the following year pero nabitin ako okay actually when you go to Apa it's like you really want to go back you, you, yes. you want to go back oo and I think that's the reason why it's uh, a gold standard for anime events in Southeast Asia no? So yeah. yeah, moving back to Saika, no? Sainai, <laughs> buong nagbibinata na, Sainai Hiroi no Soda Tekata, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. It's yes. it's a whole, this this big series, which already had two seasons, one OVA, very self-aware, and now it has a movie to cap up everything. Yes. Ito, ito talaga, it, oh, this is a, how do, how do I say it? This is a romantic comedy, which is a romantic comedy, in a sense of in the truest sense of the word. Yes. Really. Well, it's, it's a rom com with some edgy part, so people would think of, will think that ah, it's an edgy horror anime. But mm-hmm. you will be surprised at how good it, it was being adapted. At the same time, the base material is is in part. Like, hindi pong The story really makes sense mm-hmm. even before the the novel finishes. So talagang oh, it's a good watch. People, I would like. Uh, it's I would personally like it. it's straightforward, edgy. Yeah, it's it's basically utaha. Mm-hmm. And you have your quick essential to the end of and them breaking the fourth wall. It's basically utaha most of the time. Mm-hmm. Then. And there's Kato. It's like... Kato geez. is... Kato is your boring girlfriend. Pero over that, over the whole progress of this movie, na makikita mo na itong tahimik na taong to, gago to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, and if you watch the series before, mm. parang first, first season's like, ah, okay, Kato is this. Medyo develop siya. Second season, medyo like, up to... Diba? Kilip mo talaga yung tao. Diba? Lupit eh. Then, even the light novel ends, everyone knew that who's going with who. Like, ah, oh, okay. It's all... Thankfully, our hero in one is obvious. I think people would riot if Utah won or Eriri won or those other two. Actually, But... nga, actually nga, natatawa ako dun sa, ano eh, eto, mag-skip tayo mula sa, sa dulo tayo, sa dulo tayo. How oh. Utah self-inserts herself at every open opportunity possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's her character because uh, uh, k- she's a very aggressive character. Diba? Gaganyan, ganyan yan. Pero, uh, again, again, ito, ito, on a, on a say you context, 
matso ka, kaya nun, uh, saan ka pa? Yung tayo eh. And yung parang ano, even before SAO alicization, makikita mo na ano ba, parang gusto, gusto mo nalang magkasala itong mga dalawang to eh. tapos ikaw maginiinong ninang, no? Oh. Yun yun eh. <laughs> yun yung malupit. Ganun. Parang, yeah, even there, we are say you chemistry is quite mm-hmm. parang diba? people would be people would, would be surprised if they, hindi sila katulog yan actually <laughs> diba like oh bakit hindi sila they would be shocked if lagi sila like ah everyone knew that but in terms of them as a character in Saika no, I quite rooting for them it's mm-hmm. like even Utah is, is a very impactful characters in the harem. Well, like, uh, speaking of Eriri, ito, 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 how, it, this is how I describe it. Si Eriri, yung childhood, yung childhood friend mo, tapos si Utaha naman yung uh, ara-ara mama-mama. Ganon. Yes. Uh-oh. Since you're an uh, ara-ara version who happens to like the, 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 we, the weave person so much, And medyo ano rin siya. Kasi hindi, hindi rin sila nag-progress ni ano eh. But Utaha is Utaha. But mas um, if you if napansin mo yung movie, pinakakawawa si Erevi. She lost. Yeah. She dramatically lost. Yeah. And, yeah. Sobrang iyak ng iyak siya doon. Yeah. And to the point that it's, it was Utaha that really suggested that into sa, sa concluding for that it has they have to give up no no on Tomoya Mm-mm. because she know she knew and at the same time the relation the character growth of everyone has blossomed has finally bloomed in the movie mm-hmm. even yun siya sabi ko last year pa na that film was the con- is a good as well as one of the very best concluding movies in the series Basically, siya nung pinakamagandang pantapos. And they did it well. I think no one, I never heard of anyone being so disappointed with it. Actually, and to be honest, you cannot be disappointed on that. It's like, from the journey of Kato from being this and that, this and that, into someone, into Tomoya's wife. Mm-hmm. Na, <laughs> diba? And Her character being ah ah okay a premier pro into into a, a, a ascended goddess of being the perfect wife itself not the wife diba? oh oh yung malupit you know you know how how do I know it the chemistry nila is something na tala talagang you you ano you want them to just kiss you just want them to kiss de ba Going back doon sa epilogue, ito na, this is spoilers already. We're already mentioning spoilers already. You could have skipped this part, but you chose not yeah. to. All right, let's go. Yung, Yo. yung, 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 yung self-insert talaga ni Uta, ha, eh. Lupit, eh. Uh, yeah. Talagang it made me, it made me want to, ano, it made, made me really sad. Bad in ba to? Napasabi ako agad doon sa sinan, bad, what the hell? Bad in ba to? Hi, I'm at, uh... Talaga ko after all. You really believe na it's a, it's gonna be a bad end. <laughs> and and ito ah if I'm ano if I recall correctly, rated PG tong pelikula lang ito with edgy scenes. The material contains mature animated dramatic theme which may parent, uh, require parental guidance and supervision. Hindi man lang nila ginawang PG-13 to. Well, it's I think the edgy part is so minor. Oh, But the rest is more drama naman eh. So, it's fair. Hmm. Pero, it's... Nga eh. Okay. I, I want, I will recall some of the scenes in the movie and we're, we're not, ano ah, we're, we're talking about the movie. We're, how do we review the movie? Because, tagal ko nang hindi nag-review ng anime. Tagal na. I, I really mean it. So, <laughs> Go on. Uh, ano ba? <laughs> well... Give, you have give, to me, give me, give me, give me your you best moment. Base. Give me your best moment there. Anong best moment sa pelikula on your viewpoint, on your perspective? 
Number uh best moment. Mm. Okay. It's it's an obvious answer. If you watch it, it's an obvious answer. It's definitely a confession scene. It's mm. my confess. Everyone knows that. It's like uh... that's the best part that everyone wants. So that's an expected answer. But if you ask me other on the other best scenes would be hmm. Ano ba ito? Recall, okay? So the best scenes would be how Kato res- acts as the circle leader habang si Tomoe andun sa mga sa, sa harem. Sa kabila naman niya. Sa kaharem niya. Which is basically, ta- oh, tinutulungan lang naman niya kasi nagkaroon nga ng problema. Eh, so all of a sudden, ayaw naman mawala yung passion. Kasi, kasi uh, uh, sanga-sanga nga eh. It's yeah. basically, it's, it's, kaya kaya ang gulo ng ano eh. Gulo, may, at that time, medyo naguluhan na ako. Eh, so far, sanga-sanga yung problema. It yeah, all started but... when the, the the two of the harem wants to go to a higher ground. Yeah, apparently, but... they found a project. So, tandem sila. They found a project na kung saan test yung ano nila, yung talents nila and all, yung patience nila. And then, their manager suddenly got injured. Got hospitalized. Oh, no. Hospitalized. So, well, that that event is basically the after, it's the season two, the season two, second half of the season two, medyo, and then about, so people, ah, they are dito ganyan, but, Regardless of what happened, those scenes I mean I mentioned kanina, is something it's a good window for character growth. Bakit? Kasi if you, this the season two is more on how they started. Mm-hmm. So Kato, this mga ano nila. Then on that particular scene in the movie, it's that that's that's basically uh Tomoya Raising the main heroine flag. So if yeah, we put it in a visual novel, kind mm-hmm. of way, which is we have to, since mm-hmm. it's about the visual novel, it's basically they are. The, he is raising the, the main heroine plot, the flag. So to do that, chempre, it's not as straightforward. Do this and do that, chempre. So there has to be a major event, like, yeah, like a major event. Then Tomoya become. She's doing. He's doing the main heroine script. So yun lang yung pinatapos, which is the ultimate, ultimate route of the VL, VN. So mm-hmm. he's like, he's like, bo, parang let's find out Parang putting, painting, putting up everything that he liked. He like, he like. That's the ultimate and. The, obviously, the inspiration of that scato, the kaya siya nandiyan sa anime in the first place, but mm-hmm. he is like... She's the inspiration for two of the visual novels of Blessing Software. Mind yeah. you, it's it was all based, some of them based are on real life, real life stories, stories within the anime, I mean. So, yeah. stories within the series. So, I love how meta this is. This yeah, is diba? the definition of meta. Textbook yeah. definition of meta, if I say so myself. True. Ang pinaka gusto so, ko doon yung ano eh. Well, aside from naghalikan sila ni ni ano si Kato at saka si Aki, the I think the best one was yung yung emotions ni Eri mismo na natalo siya. She has to accept it. It's the only way to save the relationship between Tomoya Aki Tomoya and Mego Mikato na, na, na strain niya dahil dito sa sangasangang project na ito na he committed his time to them so much na nadedehado yung mismo project nila. Everybody wants to get to the top eh. Everybody wants to be rivals and all. Pero in the end, the way they presented it, parang it's it's sad. But mm-hmm. at the same time, Hindi hindi to well deserve. It's not no no not no. Eri Rita doesn't deserve to cry. Yung mga kaso nila, si Tasha deserve to cry. Si Mama Mati Biden eh pero oh, gaganyan ganyan din yan eh. Si Mama pero gaganyan ganyan din yan eh. Two two are the polar opposite sa man eh. So mm-hmm. how they react is basically polar opposite. And besides on those kind the movie it's on what happened to them basically they are Nandun eh, it's more on the 
get past through the betrayal stuff. Mm-mm. And they have to order all it. But it was Kato naman. And that's the that's the ultimate part where Kato is really like falling in love na talaga. Mm-mm. And that event really opens her heart na talagang yeah, it's they made heroine root. She's is really mad. She's really selfish. Mm-mm. They sa akin lang everyone... siya. Sa akin lang siya. <laughs> Yun yung ano, that's why I really liked that scene before the, con- diba? prior to the confession. Yun yung... Because parang what her point is, she's just someone. It's not like I really the childhood for Utaha being this and that and mm-hmm. Michiru being an extra. <laughs> Since she became a bona fide extra. It's like, oh, okay, uh-huh. you know, good guy. Mm-mm. And then Isan is like, I'm, I'm part of the harem too, but nah. Sino, sino ala? It, si Eriri? No, no, si Izumi. The, ah, si Izumi, no, oh. She's part of the harem, pero nah. Oh, I, oh, I get that, I get that. Great. Oo. But they're technically, I know, but you, you have to ignore this. So it's basic. So it's all about them kasi sila yung pinaka-involved in, meaning Utaha Eriri and Kato kasi number, si syempre Eriri and Kato are good friends mm-hmm. so they are and that's what's one Eriri's closest friend there as I like Kato Moya so Eriri knew the part of what they have to ask him to, for help mm-hmm. Eriri knew but Kato no, but, no, no sorry but Utaha is so aware na talag na Kato likes Tomoya. Mm-mm. There's there's I'll, one I'll, person. I'll... Eh. Yung there's one person. Eh, uh, although it's pretty much vague in the process, pero you get the point. There's one person who supports you, who will take, who will put your passion to the mouth of those executives who want to shortcut all the way to the output. Yeah. Pero ano lang yun, those kinds of events, like, it's just a premise, eh, for me, parang, because, siyempre, silang dalawa, the one, they really want to be on top of their game. Mm-mm. Kaya nga, that's why they left the circle, eh. Mm-mm. And be- because of that, that really in- impacted Tomoya. And, mm-hmm. sino, sino nandyan? Si Kato. Tapos ang wasapan. And they knew naman, eh. So, but, Mm-hmm. Before, prior to what happened, these two girls, like, they're still clinging on the chance. You say, like, baka, baka sakali, baka sakali. But, alam nilang parehas that Kato would be stealing the show. Mm-hmm. Eriri almost denied it. Uta Wala, Harry, hindi. Kung baga, Eriri was delusional at that point. Pero Ota has said, no, this is the reality. Ito talaga yon. Binakuran na tayo ni Kato kasi umalis tayo sa bakuran ni Tomoya. That's it. It's like, Tomoya will help us, but she belongs to Kato. So, siyempre, i- some iyakin. Mm-hmm. And then, and while we're saying that, imagine the first two seasons. Halos vague lahat. On the movie, it's like, it's, it's crystal clear. It's clear no. as clear as the sky, as the water in the seas. Yeah. Malino pa sa sikat ng araw. Yeah. Well, it's a concluding movie, so mm-hmm. the mere fact we're saying this, it's it's a that's why for us it's one of the good films that really concludes the series well, mm-hmm. and it's and it's adaptation of the base material, which is a light novel. It gives justice, talaga. Hmm. To think People that this, about... to think that this is a light novel about young guys, uh, these youngsters or teens or what you call it, producing a uh, a visual novel, which yes. was turned into an anime and then a movie uh, uh, adaptation. So, parang kono light novel kasi exists for these titles. Yes. And it be- in, sa- in the Saikano series, it's become a repeatable series before that. Eh. So, hindi, hindi siya makakalimutan. Until now, hindi ko pa rin makalimutan yung, yung series na yun. Although I forgot the, the two seasons, what impacted me on the season before this movie 
is yung si Eri. She forced on herself to draw like uh, uh, graphics, no? Or what do you call it? They, they call it CGA. But, you know, artworks, artboards, storyboards, uh, yeah, tama, artboards. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's more on the artist's growth thing. So, talagang Eri wants to be better on what she does. Mm-hmm. And it's quite and we can understand why naman eh. Ako personally, like, yeah, her reasons are legit naman, but may matatamaan talaga. Mm-hmm. It's like, she, dapat hindi niya ginawa. In, in reality, no. They presented it as, it's inevitable din eh. May masasaktan talaga, but the cause, the cause and effect would be this and that. I mean, that's the entire plot. Doon sa umikot. These two want to grow din. At siyempre, gusto Di naman to sobrang landi eh. It's they they chose their career their career and prospect growth eh. Mm-hmm. Over something. And they had to sacrifice talaga kasi Tomoya inspired both of them. And Tomoya also acknowledged din that they have na he has to let them go and he has to improve on his own. So in the in their growth Umano na sila, hindi sila they respected each other's decision mm-hmm. and Tomoya, kaya nga pansin mo Tomoya became a scenario writer mm-hmm. scenario, oh, scenario writer, writer talaga yung ano pero ang nasa subtitle script writer siya meanwhile, <laughs> this Megumi in the epilogue nga, epilogue ba tawag doon basta after the story yes so, Blessing Software is still a tandem uh, or a quartet Uh, quartet. Pero si Ake yung presidente, si Kato yung vice, yeah. and, and si Kato should... yung director, habang si, ano, and to think, to think naman, ano, now that I think of it, magaling mag-direct din si Kato na ito, kumbaga ito, 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 parang feeling ko, kailangan pa ng coding changes, feeling ko meron pang gagawin dito. Then, yeah. Uh, well, rejected to parang ganon. Tapos kukuntahan sila ni Aki on this is my best work, di ba? Yes. Well, natuto siya kay ano, kay Tomoya. So like, mm-hmm. yeah. Natuto siya dun eh. Plus, she learn how to she learn how to love it and for some reason, na in love siya. Yun. Yeah, no? Kasi, dyan na ako kinikilig eh. Yan ang pangarap kong ano, yan ba? Lahat ako siguro ko ng mga, ano, yan ang pangarap nating waifu, no? Since we became the ultimate wife. Oo, oh, mar- pati nga ikaw, Marlo, anong profile mo? May gumikato. Okay. Pangarap, okay. ang pangarap nating waifu. So, pangarap. overall, pangarap, pangarap talaga na waifu, eh. Ito yung waifu na susuportahan ka sa ano man decision mo, hindi ka iiwan ng, bas- ng basta-basta. And both of all, you understand each other mutually. Wholesome relationship, sir. Wholesome. And, to be, and to be fair, wala sa ng special connection dati. Oh, ngayon meron na. <laughs> for some reason, oh, you're my hero for more because and maybe, maybe it's a love at first sight and it's cloudy, but yun ang ano nila eh. It's ang like, vague, oh, ang wala. Vague pa, ang vague pa nung love at first sight nila and the first season eh. Tapos as the series progresses all together, ah, ito nga, totoo nga. It, it took It took us a while to re- uh, it took them a while for them to realize na sila nga sila nga yun that's it yeah. and it's natural ah kasi hindi siya parang destiny whatever to uh, mm-hmm. na, 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 na stereotypical they even they really know that they're stereotypical childhood friend and what oh. has stereotypical this and that mm-hmm. it's it's there and it's and they're not and they're presented well actually Mm-hmm. Wala, walang walang yeah. sinabi ang Osana na Jimmy. Walang sinabi uh, yung ara-ara may mama. Wala. Walang sinabi yeah, yeah. sa boring girlfriend na hindi boring. Well, because Aki, Aki did this part. Mm-hmm. And Kato grew. Mm-hmm. And to think that Blessing Software will be made out of someone who blogs about visual novels? Remember, Aki was Taki. He was a blogger for like uh, he reviews. Well, ano? Diba? Diba? Lupit nun eh. Diba? So, 
if I try to rekindle my rose... Saka, ito, kawag dito. Yes. Hmm. Yes, go, 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 go. Ano ito eh, parang... The, uh, what they're making is basically about stereotypical ade, eh. mm-hmm. visual novel roots. It's stereotypical. Mm-hmm. May mga plot. It's same as it. And it's hindi naman importante ane, eh, kasi it's just basically about themselves. It's, it, the show it's it's the show is somewhat a parody of the visual novels. Ah, if you think about it, oh, the characters recognize it in the film. in the series perhaps but even though being tr- being somewhat stereotypical or a satire in a way they they are being presented something that it's quite essential sila mm-hmm. Ay, this if, if plot na, is mm-hmm. only sarikano uh-uh. and the last thing kato is out of no, out of nowhere became one of the most memorable female characters that we have. Mm. See, everyone knows her. Mm-hmm. Everyone likes her. No one, nobody hates Kato. Kahit mm-hmm. Team Erevi ka or Team Uta ka, Senpai ka. Mutually. Oh, nga, no, mutually. If I see anyone hating on Kato, they're out of their minds. Yeah, exactly. You could hate on Uta ha from being that ara-ara mama. <laughs> I keep saying that. Ano. You can hate Eri for being a sundere o sana na Jimmy. But you cannot hate Kato. Parang, parang flawless siya na hindi. You, you, can, you mutually accept her. The way Kato was honed, yung way na hinulma siya, really is, ano, is, is she was, ano, kumbaga, uh, she was casted as this boring girlfriend, pero hindi naman pala. Parang, yeah, How to raise it's, it's... a boring girlfriend? How to raise a boring girlfriend? How to raise the status of a boring girlfriend? Palang title nito kung tutusin. The title says it all eh. Parang, how to raise... Well, look at her. <laughs> look at her, that's it. Did It's it a work? boring girlfriend. Now we raise her into something else. Now everyone, everyone wants... Now everyone wants everyone. her, diba? Yeah. They and did well. Is, and and is, the anime did well. Anything hmm. did well. Even the side characters did well. Diba? No one. Like, for example, dun sa part na where they where they're doing the project thing. Marang the, yun sa first part. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yun sa pinaka first part ng film, which is the yung kumakain sila. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. They are showing how stereotypical they are at the same time The character growth at the same time how how intense their reaction was on, to, to someone's relationship advancement namely Kato meandering eyes na si Kato oh, oh. because Utaha kissed kissed Tomoya on the last episode the second mm-hmm. season so Kato was like hold up hold up <laughs> oh, and how she had feelings at that time oh excited she kasi kinukulat kasi ano eh <laughs> ang kitang mga buwan ta nila eh uh, ay parang yung yung sa first part talaga yung pigla yung reaction ni Kato sobrang naano ko sabi ko ah okay I really like I really like her na she, she's she's more open she's more emotional mm-hmm. than the past seasons like kung kung yung lack of emotion niya from the anime namely actually sa second season lang siya medyo nag ano eh mm-hmm. the lack of emotion niya Doon din mo sa lahat. Sa, sa, sa movie. Buhos na buhos talaga. Parang here's more kato. Here's everything you love. What emotion here? Every With second more emotions. Of With more emotions. More emo- in every aspect of emotions. Here, lahat yan. And she really knows how to, ano, how to become a wife. And Tomoya really appreciates it. And hindi rin naman tor, hindi, na, hindi rin naman tanga si Tomoya. I think. Oo. Oh, oh. Fairly na in love talaga siya. Which he mentioned why he, he likes Kato. Mm-hmm. Because she's the one like, kasi Kato's there. Kato is honest. Diba? Mm-hmm. She's honest. Honest to a fault. You know, uh, as, in, uh, as in honest siya sa 
yun sa mga nangyayari, diba, sa circle compared to sa dalawa na kailangan pang gayto ganyan. Si Piki, si Piki, ano yung talagang sinuyo talaga ni Tomo si Kato. Hmm. I think, uh, I think, ang dami natin napag-usapan about dito sa Saika, no, movie final, ano. And, yeah. okay, so, in, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this? Hmm. I guess it's uh, from 8 to 9. Hmm. I'll give it a 9. Bitin yeah. na po eh. Kung may, 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 kung may, ep- may dagdag na epilogue to or OVR what, sige, gawin natin 10. Pero, bitin ako eh. Bitin talaga ako eh. Two hearts na yung pelikula halos ah. Bitin pa rin ako. Bitin ka po doon sa epilogue kaya na ano, 10 oh, years after. Oh, oh, oh. I want to see their hijinks and misadventures and all. And, think about it. Think about this. You know, Sa, sa dulo, di ba, magkakasama sila. Just like in the first few minutes of the film, magkakasama sila sa isang lugar. And that yeah. is wonderful. So, I think, with that said, I'll cap off this episode. Thank you very much, Marlo, for yeah. taking your time. Kahit na busy-busy sa trabaho, like just like me. Sige, Marlo, share anime yeah. corner to our listeners and viewers. Uh, well... Like, uh, well, guys, thank you for, thank you, Jay, for having me as a guest. Uh, mag fun boy sa Isa Psycho Ball. So, diba? please follow, so, we have, please follow Anime Corner on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we also have Anime Corner News. We also have a Discord and the Patreon. So, it's, it's basically Anime Corner at AC on Instagram on Twitter, and it's in facebook.com slash Anime Corner. slash enemy corner that official so yeah we like like us and please support our platforms so thank mm. you and don't forget anime corner.me so that's a website for anime corner where you can check out my write-ups of vishojo together uh with the ceo justin ignacio the gunran himself i'm happy to take on this uh task of talking to a CEO of an up-and-coming VTuber company which is states itself as talent first. Now, we look for, siguro by this time, and with the fast-paced VTuber community, talaga sobrang bilis ang palita. Every week, there's news. Expect mo yan. So, yeah. Uh, looking, well, I hope when this podcast is released, Eh, maayos ayos ang lahat. No, no conflicts and all. Just like, just like in Saikano movie, it started together, it ended together. So, yeah. di ba, di ba? Peace, peace. So, tama. Thank you for listening and watching Keepsakes, the podcast with Jaya Gonoy. New episodes come every Mondays, 9 a.m. Manila time, every two weeks on anchor.fm slash keepsakes. and youtube.com slash jayagonoy. Don't forget to follow me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash keepsakesbyjay, Twitter at jayagonoy, twitch.tv slash jayagonoyxyz, and on my blog at jayagonoy.xyz. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'm looking forward to be with you again soon. Cheers!